Bullets whizzing by people on a San Francisco sidewalk. Tonight, we're getting a first look at newly released video of a police shooting. It all happened in a matter of seconds. Nightbeat's Andrea Borba shows us. What you guys think this is, man? I don't know. San Francisco? What? This is the moment two SFPD officers stopped on Grant Avenue on June 9th to talk to four men with open containers on the street. Hold on, man. You ain't going nowhere. The entire length of the encounter from initial stop to gunfire is 44 seconds and only 8 seconds from the moment Oliver Barsanis ran away and up Grant Avenue until the officer fires. As the video is slowed down, SFPD says you can see the reason the officer fired, Barsanis dropping his jacket and pulling this Glock 45 caliber with laser sights and 26 rounds in an extended magazine. They were drinking from an open container. And all of a sudden, the police come and everything falls apart. Why, why did this policeman go running after this guy? So what if he ran? What does it mean that he had to shoot him to get him to stop when he didn't even know what was going on? The video shows the officer running with his gun drawn through a narrow and crowded sidewalk on Grant Avenue before firing. I would have hoped there would have been some, some awareness of there are other people here and, and, and you know, were they also in danger? Um, that it's, it's just shocking to me to see this. Several people in tonight's meeting called the sidewalk shooting careless. We're always looking for the safety of the public. You know, we will evaluate. We have training and we have procedures, and we'll evaluate that instance there. But you know, the mind of the officer at the time uh, dictates you know the actions that he or she takes. So, but we are also always mindful of the community that's out there because we want to make sure that they remain safe as well. The shooting of Barsanis, who was shot once before by SFPD in 2012, is under investigation by both Internal Affairs and the District Attorney's Office. While Barsanis is recovering from his wounds and facing multiple charges, including being a felon in possession of a firearm, a former co-worker stood up for him. I want to say that I used to work with Oliver, and um, I, I just feel really disappointed. Um, I just feel like the officer involved in the shooting jumped the gun on it, and um, I think he was doing his job, but it looks really bad. It looks really bad. This could have been something completely avoided. I think, um, honestly, that he panicked. So I'm really disappointed. On the Night Beat, I'm Andrea Borba.